In this episode, I'm going to be talking about what I've been doing for my landing page of my podcast, Passion and Progress. So if you're into that, stay tuned. And for those of you that are new, I'm on a journey to make my passion online video my full-time job. And if you're into that, subscribe, hit the notification bells and all those things. So I use Squarespace. As of right now, if you were to type in JavierMercedes.com, it actually redirects you to my website. So it'll go JavierMercedes.com. It will ask you if you want to subscribe to my channel. Audi. So the challenge that I need to overcome at this point in time is when I release a podcast, it gets spread out into all of these different places. And I need one central location where I can have all of those links on a website. And this actually just happened. My guest just texted me asking me for a link. Do I send him the YouTube link? Do I send him the iTunes link, the Spotify, Stitcher, Google Play? Who knows? Why don't I just build one landing page for each episode where it can send people and then people can just watch or listen on whatever their preferred device or app is. Two of the people that I'm modeling my website off of right now are Sarah Dietschy, Rhymes with Peachy, and Matt DeVeya. This guy is like the king of video podcasting right now or making like really, 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 really nice looking podcasts. If you haven't checked out Matt's podcast, just go watch it and then please come back at some point in time back to me. It's not up to Matt's level, which I aspire to be, but I'm getting there. I am getting there. For Matt's website, this section right here, and if you look at mine, it kind of has some of the same things. I'm not gonna have reels, I'm not gonna have headshots, but this is just the template, right? Here's this contact. On Matt's website, he's got contribute because he has a Patreon. That's probably gonna be coming in the future for me. And then he has these websites right here to go to his socials. And another thing that I wanna build out is he has his gear right here for his kit. But what Sarah Dietschy did is probably what I'm going to do. And I think, I believe Craig Adams, um, she took this from Craig Adams, where she just has all of her Amazon affiliate links for all of her gear in one central location on her website, which is probably what I'm going to do too. I do have a podcast tab. And look at this. I put my headshot in the website. So it says Javier Mercedes, Passion and Progress. And if you were to click on podcast right now, I have one episode right there. Let's go ahead and click into that episode. So this is the things that I'm trying to overcome right now. I have the YouTube episode, right? But in terms of branding, I want to get it to how it looks right here. These titles in impact and then my logo passion and progress down here. And then if you scroll down to my earlier episodes, I don't have that branding in there. You can see it kind of start to get into the swing of things as it progresses and then I get into there. I'll get the branding in there, but I just wanted to see and start messing around with things inside Squarespace. The first thing that I came across was it's pretty easy to manipulate things within within Squarespace. Like all I had to do was hit edit. You can go up to this little plus sign if you want to add a video. It just says add video. And then on that video, you can put in the YouTube link. After I did that, it looked something like this. Look how easy it is just to maneuver these around. So it has this really big video. I don't know how to preview this on mobile. If I go to the website on my mobile, I can't look at what it looks like on my mobile device. That's one of the things that I'm trying to, I'm pretty sure you can do that really easy, but I don't know how to do that right now. The cool thing is you just grab this and then you can just move it right next to the, right next to this text. Right here I have two blocks. I was thinking to myself, all right, well, I have the video. Well, let me do it with like audio. Let me see if I can put the audio in there. So right here, I actually have the RSS embed from Lipson. I went up here to this plus sign audio. So I hit audio and within there, all I had to do is go to Lipson and do my direct download link. This is provided to you by Libsyn. Libsyn is the website that I use to, I guess, syndicate or promote or push out all of my podcasts. Very good website, I highly recommend it. I know a lot of people use Anchor. I haven't used Anchor before, but really love Libsyn and put this audio inside there. This begs the question, like, if people come to the website are they going to want to click on this video or are they going to play the audio? If you are to exit out of the app on your mobile, does that mean the audio is going to keep playing? I don't know. That's one of the things that I want to test. The other thing too is I want to be able to drop in these links. My Spotify, my iTunes, Google, my Stitcher, all in neat little, like, little boxes here. I don't know how to put all these boxes next to each other they are buttons but i don't like look how big this button is i don't know how to just make these buttons just be nice all nice and neat right here wouldn't it be cool if it was just like spotify itunes google play stitcher like right there Ugh. 
these are the things that we have to overcome. Looking at how Matt gets around this, the ground up show. First of all, Matt, dude, look at this. In one sentence, he just sums up his podcast. A podcast about the journey. Like how long did it take him to make that one sentence? It just sums up everything, everything about a podcast. And you're oh, so nice and neat, Mr. Minimalist you. <sighs> Matt, he's so good, so good at what he does. So on his landing page of his podcast, he has the Ground Up Show, iTunes, YouTube, Google Play, Stitcher, SoundCloud, Spotify. And he has all of these nice little neat links. I will get to that point. You scroll down, he has a little intro video that you can click on. So this is just straight up a trailer video for his show. It's a great show. Now you scroll down and look at how nice and neat he has these episodes. They are so, so nice. So let me scroll down and let's hit up Sarah Dietschy herself and see what her page looks like. Right here he has a image you hit play and then it will open it's, up I... YouTube link. Underneath it, he does have the audio. He has the SoundCloud right here. You scroll down, he has a subscribe button, iTunes, YouTube, Google Play, SoundCloud, Spotify, right there. And then he has four suggested videos all in one website. Very clean, very nice. Matt DeVilla, you are killing it in the podcast space on website life. Let's go back and check out one of his most recent episodes. And notice how he got rid of the audio. Now all he has is the video. The overview, it's not very long. It's just straight up one sentence giving you who the person is. There's not a really big, this is what's in this podcast, which I could go either way on that. I feel like in SEO terms, you could probably put more info there, but he's been in the game way longer than I have, so he probably knows way more than I do. Uh, the other thing too is that it takes a lot of work to push out this podcast. So touching a whole bunch of different areas, if you were the person that's putting in all of the work to edit the podcast, record the podcast, actually be the host doing the podcast, and then everything on the back end to market the podcast. There's so much that goes into that. So I can definitely see why this would only be one little sentence about what's going on. Remember how on my website, I wanted to do those little button things. Right here, he has circumvented that with, listen here, iTunes, Google Play, SoundCloud, Spotify. Really nice really clean. Looks like he got rid of his stitcher. And then there's your girl, Sarah Dietschy, right next to it in the suggested. I like how this is in color too, because you can see it. And then these are in black and white. Oh, man, he's just so good. He's so good at what he does. Let's go over to Sarah Dietschy. What is she doing on her podcast page? I know right now, Sarah Dietschy is trying to push hard on just her audio version of her podcast. And with good reason, because I'm running into the same problem where people will listen to it on YouTube or they'll, they'll watch it on YouTube, but there's so much noise. So if you go and watch this on YouTube right here, you have all of these other videos to compete against. The second that you're uninterested in this video, you're going to leave. So audience retention on a YouTube video for a podcast may not be that long. But the audience retention for an audio version of a podcast, you can listen to it anywhere. It gets pushed out onto your phone or your device, like your Google Home or whatever, and you can listen to it. More people can spend more time with you that way. She's diversifying her content. Now, I believe she's put her videos behind a Patreon paywall, which I would love to get to that point at some point in time. It looks like she just has her Gary V episode here. And notice how she doesn't even have her video of Gary V. It's just this little watch on YouTube at the very bottom of it. The rest of it is like, here is the audio version of the podcast. And like I said, it makes sense. Pushing out and getting people into the audio version of your podcast gets you the time to spend with your audience via audio, not video. Then she has all of her links down here as opposed, maybe she has them up here. No, uh, she has her YouTube up here. She has all of these links down here. I'll probably stick with having that little thing that Matt does where it's nice and neat up here. Obviously, mine does not look anything like that, but this is all a half a day of opening up Squarespace, getting a feel for what's going on, and moving on from that point. And I also have to film the video for today. This is all part of No Small November, in which one of my goals was to build a website in the landing pages that I need for my podcasts. If any of that was helpful for you, I, ho I hope it was. I mean, it's I'm merely just analyzing 
how I want my website to look. And it's more conflict than resolution at this point in the Javier Mercedesville of building a website. And I'm sorry if you clicked on this video to find more ways on how to build a website for your podcast. But once I conquer this, then I can make that kind of an episode. And boy, oh boy, will that be quite the episode. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notifications and the bell if you find this helpful for you. Till next time, live a life of abundance. Have your Mercedes out.